an absolutely beautiful spring day here in New York City. Right now I'm at Central Park just drinking my coffee, doing a little reading and relaxing because earlier in the day I had a very filling lunch at one of the city's most iconic pizza restaurants. I'm talking about Patsy's Pizzeria. Now there are multiple locations of Patsy's throughout the city, but I wanted to go to the original, the one in East Harlem, which is sometimes known as Spanish Harlem, which is also sometimes known as El Barrio. Today, East Harlem is home to one of the city's largest Hispanic populations, but it wasn't always like that. Back in the day, East Harlem was home to a large portion of Italian Americans. While the neighborhood has certainly changed, there are still some vestiges of that Italian influence still alive within East Harlem. In that regard, Patsy's is definitely a landmark, showcasing the Italian history of the neighborhood. East Harlem is also home to the iconic and legendary and probably the most difficult restaurant to get into within New York City, Rayo's. Just like Patsy's, Rayo's is a landmark of old Italian Harlem, and it is also a bucket list restaurant of mine, and I hope to one day dine there, but despite that, it was still really cool just to walk outside the establishment and see that famous facade. Hopefully, I'll get to dine at Rayo's at some point in my life, but today I at least had a fantastic pizza lunch at Patsy's Pizzeria. Patsy's Pizzeria is the product of Pasquale Lancieri, who opened this restaurant in 1933 after learning how to make pizza at Lombardi's, which is one of NYC's other iconic pizza establishments. Inside, Patsy's history is evident as the walls are covered with photos of memorabilia showcasing the pizzeria's long standing. I like the interior. It's nothing fancy, but it's got a classic feel to it. It's like something you would see in The Godfather. Their menu is more than just pizza, as there's a decent selection of Italian American offerings, but I was there for a pie. While there is a variety of specialty offerings, since it was my first visit, I wanted to keep it simple, so I went with just a pepperoni pizza. The prices at Patsy's aren't bad, considering their pizzas are on the larger side, but it's important to note that the establishment is cash only. I didn't know this before my visit, but luckily I had enough change on me. It wasn't long after ordering for my pizza to arrive, and it was a beauty. Diving right in, my first bites were very satisfying. However, it was a bit floppy, and it was definitely messy, which was largely the result of the pepperoni. In fact, by the end of my lunch, I accumulated quite the pile of used napkins, but the mess was certainly worth it. Patsy's is famous for the fact that they cook their pies in a coal oven, which contributes a magnificent char and texture to the pizza. While my pie had a bit of a crisp, it wasn't perfect, and I did find that one side of the pizza had more of a crunch than the other. Most slices did, however, have a decent amount of leopardine on their bottoms. Despite everything, I still really enjoyed it because the pizza was supremely balanced. Sometimes if a pie has the proper crisp, but without the right proportions of cheese and sauce, it can just taste dry. Thankfully, my pizza really hit the mark as all of its components interacted with each other beautifully. The mozzarella cheese had the right levels of savoriness, while the tomato sauce had an appropriate amount of sweetness. Topping-wise, the pepperoni was solid and hit the spot. It was definitely a thin and light pizza, and the slices went down very easily. Plus, there was certainly a good amount of flavor in the crust and on the bottom. Overall, this was just really good and very satisfying pizza. Service-wise, it was solid, although for about 75% of my visit, I was the only customer dining inside the restaurant. If one doesn't like crowds, going for an early lunch on a weekday is the way to do it. It was certainly nice to enjoy such a fine pizza without any distractions. I believe that the pies served at Patsy's encapsulate what New York City style pizza is all about. I really enjoyed Patsy's. I love their history and their prices aren't bad, at least for NYC, but most importantly, they serve great pizza. Ah, that was a good lunch. Patsy's lives up to the height. That is definitely top tier New York City pizza. Personally, I thought the pizza was a good size for me. I was nice and satisfied, but you know, I still want dessert. Luckily, Patsy's has a separate area of the restaurant where they do takeout and slices, and I thought, you know what? More pizza sounds good. Like the sit-down portion of the restaurant, it is cash only, but fortunately, the prices are extremely affordable. A cheese slice is only $2.50, which is a phenomenal deal for pizza of that quality. It's nice that Patsy's offers the option of getting a quick slice on the go. In fact, the restaurant claims to have originated the concept of selling pizza by the slice. 
That bonus slice hit the spot. It was of the same great quality that I experienced with my pepperoni pie when I ate inside the restaurant. But in fact, that cheese slice had an even better texture compared to the pepperoni pizza I had earlier. It just had a more satisfying crisp to it, which is a characteristic I personally enjoy having in a pizza. But I still really love the pepperoni pizza I had within the restaurant. But if it just had just a touch more crisp to it, it could have been perfect. Whether one is eating inside the restaurant or getting slices for takeout, Patsy's is top tier New York City pizza. It is one of the best pizza restaurants within the city. I loved my lunch today, and I can't wait to go back to Patsy's in East Harlem.